first contestant to get a leeway to the big players of the industry plans to woo the judges with her business strategy and handmade accessories. Hello everyone, I'm Kame Lee, the founder of Simply K. Here's my retail counter located at Round Floor Robinson's Garden Smith Valley. I've always liked handicrafts since young and I've recently turned my passion to a business of my own. My products are 100% handmade using high quality materials such as sauce, key crystals and also fresh water pearls. It, took, it takes me about 20 minutes to an hour to make each piece. Each piece goes through a stringent quality control to ensure that the finishing is flawless. I want my dreams to come true. And of course, I need funding. That's why I took up the challenge to join MYEG's Make the Pitch. In MyG Make the Pitch, the judges are some of the biggest players of the industry with credentials, contacts and the cash ready to invest but only in the right business. In hopes of gaining monetary funds to expand her head-turning fashion accessory business, our first entrepreneur to make her stand in the pitching arena today is Kame Lee. Uh, my presentation is okay because basically it's what is happening now on my business so it's basically just explaining people about my products. Uh, well, my pitch was uh, well prepared so I guess I will be able to convince them. Good evening judges. Hi, I'm Kame Lee, founder of Simply K. Uh, my products are mainly hair accessories and it's 100% handmade using high quality materials such as Swarovski crystals and also fresh water pearls. Uh, currently, my business is uh, at Robinson's Gardens, Mid Valley. I have a counter there. Um, I don't have money to do a website yet, so I do have a uh, sale on other people's websites such as uh, some, some fashion websites. Yeah. So, um, Given the budget, if I have extra budget, I will expand my business to um, another retail outlet, an uh, online shopping uh, website, human capital, and also uh, marketing, such as um, PR, Twitter, blogging, and also YouTube. I'm also even considering YouTube to do DIY videos and also to tell tutorials and all that. And so this is my invest investment ratio. Mainly it will be on uh, manpower because my products are 100% handmade and um, it's made from, I have two helpers to help me at the moment. So this is actually the cash flow. So by the first year, um, I will be able to give back 75,000. Meaning if I'm asking 100 for 100,000, so it takes about a year plus like that to, to uh, generate back the 100,000. I also have two brands actually, Simply K and also Kameli. Kameli is actually the one with Swarovski crystals because I'm also in the midst of um, re re uh, re registering with Swarovski. So around August like that, uh, in my counter, on you can actually see the Swarovski made with Swarovski elements. Will Kameli have the beef to back her beautiful idea? We'll see if the judges will give her the nod of approval right after this. When we look at the cost um, of the hairband, it's it's pretty high, and the, the cost you know it's not it's not a branded as yet. The selling price, the selling mm. yeah, price. The selling price. The selling price. Mm -hmm. It is quite high. Yeah, um, because the cost is it's actually Swarovski crystal, so yeah. it's the cost is actually quite high. Yep. So even if it was at the very peak, maybe you can sell, uh, you can get sales of about five thousand. Uh, yeah. That is, yeah, yes, but of course, that is like no publicity, no advertisement, nothing. I don't even, I, I didn't even make my Facebook fan page that time yet. Okay. Are you making attempts to try to retail them at other outlets as well? Uh, yes, I do, I do. Yeah, but how do you see the reception towards, towards your request to, to market your product at all these uh, places? Uh, they seem they seem quite positive actually. There are some malls that is positive with my products, but they have not engaged you yet. 
Uh, because I, I have some problems with the manpower now okay. and so it's also in the midst of planning. Because I was thinking, mm, because there's a quite good response on other fashion websites, you see. So, mm -hmm. um, you are quite confident or rather very confident that within the next three years and four or five years, your name will be somewhere there. You know, like people will sort of, um, when they talk about hairband, it's going to be K. K. Talk about a, a nice case scenario. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, yeah, uh, it will be handmade, Malaysian made, uh, good quality. Do you intend, for example, to even try to, to ship uh, a few pieces to Indonesia, for example, oh, where yeah, the population is huge and they have many, many malls and the girls are quite fond of y using ah. the hairband. Yeah, actually, I'm also in contacting with Robinson Singapore, so they haven't get back to me. Okay. Yeah. If you're going to get volumes mm. of orders, mm. Mm -hmm. can you oh. still manage to do it uh, all handmade? Uh, can I have to hire more staff? Well, currently, I have two ladies helping me, so... But they are all doing the slow pace as well. Uh. If I were to ask you, you know, other than handmade, yeah. right, what's so special about this? Okay, I would say my uh, brand direction or my designs is not uh, very like those very fancy. It's kind of like classy, simple yet elegant kind of style. Mm -hmm. And the plastic that I use, right, is one of them is there. It's actually an unbreakable plastic. There's a raw oh, hairband, yeah. Okay. It's not breakable. You can sure? just, can yeah, I you try? just bend it, yeah. It's not breakable. <laughs> I'm sure if I try real hard, it will break. <laughs> Don't want yeah. to break your heart, <laughs> Okay. Well, I, the way I see it, it is quite hard to, yeah. to actually break into the, the market, you know, with just oh. hairbands. Okay. Mm. Uh, That's why I'm also moving to other accessories. Yeah. Because um, we are just looking at your proposal. At the end of the day, how many hairbands would a person own? And I think in your best case, the best month, you managed to push 5,000. Mm -hmm. um, even if you were to be able to double it, mm -hmm. I think it's not going to get you that return that you want. Because the other worry is that you are doing it on your own. Mm -hmm. you see, And, and it, everything it has to rely on you. Mm -hmm. um, that's a bit worrying. Well, mm. well uh, uh, to counter that, Spank started with one lady and she's a multi-billionaire. So I would worry with one person doing it at first. Uh, yeah. yeah, but yes. because this is quite intense in terms of the, the handmade and you have to really like sit mm -hmm. and... Yeah, but actually I'm also considering to take to have a hand-pick range when I have more budget. It's like a cheaper a hand-pick range means I buy off from people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. thank you. So how do you think it went? I think it went alright, not mm -hmm. bad. Okay. Not as nervous as I thought I was. <laughs> alright, the judges, judges seem to uh, respond well to your presentation. What do you think helped you? Uh, well, they also give me tips, you know, on uh, things that I should look onto, you know, like, you know, doing accessories and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You seem to be quite uh, prepared. Uh, you brought your, of course, you know, investors would want to see dollars and cents, they want to mm -hmm. see numbers. So you came prepared with your profit and loss, your cash flow, your uh, yes. three-year projection. So is this your first time presenting to, uh, to potential sponsors or uh, investors? Yes, it's my first time. I'm, you know, in doing a business, you have to try every way to how to get it work and mm -hmm. try everything. Okay. You can.